Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at circumference and perimeter. I made this whole recording and forgot to put my mic on, so I'm doing it for a second time just for you. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about what to expect. We will talk about circumference, perimeter, and the perimeter of regular polygons. That one's a really easy add-on at the end. First of all, I want you to meet my friend Circle. Hello, Circle. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So our circle has certain parts that we'll talk about. A diameter is the distance across the entire circle. It goes through the center and touches two, two sides of the circle. A radius starts at the center, comes out and touches the circle at one point. And this red line around the outside is known as the circumference. This is my friend the circle. Meet circle. Hi. What we're going to do today is calculate the circumference. And to calculate the circumference, you need to have the diameter, the, the distance or measurement of the diameter. All right? So let's calculate circumference. The equation is the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. In other words, we write it like this, with that little squiggly symbol there being pi. Now, what exactly is pi? It's a number that's a... Um, a ratio of the circumference and diameter of a circle, but um, more importantly for us, all we need to know is that it's a number that is about 3.14. If we can remember that, then we're in good shape. Okay, so instead of writing circumference equals pi d, we are going to write circumference is approximately equal to 3.14 times the diameter, and that will be our equation. So that makes our equation very simple. It's just a simple multiplication question. I'll show you one example of calculating circumference, and then I'll have one for you to practice. If I wanted to find the circumference when the diameter is equal to 2.5, this is what I would do. If you want to go ahead, you could pause and try this one on your own, too. There's my equation. The circumference is equal to 3.14 times the diameter. I know my diameter is 2.5. So I just multiply those two numbers and I get 7.85 centimeters is my circumference. That's the distance around the outside of the circle. And that's it. It's just multiplying those two numbers, 3.14 times whatever the diameter is. So here's your question. I want you to find the circumference when the diameter is 8.4. Go ahead and pause the recording. Try that one out. Are you back? Good. You didn't pause, did you? I know. I can tell. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this one. 3.14 times our diameter. 3.14 times 8.4. And you should get 26.376 centimeters as your circumference. So that's the circumference when the diameter is equal to 8.4 centimeters. And that is calculating circumference. The next thing we're going to talk about is perimeter. Perimeter is the thing you see in yellow, the outside of a figure, the distance around the outside. That's the perimeter. So what we are going to do is calculate the perimeter in a couple of different ways. First, the, find the perimeter of this red rectangle. With rectangles, you only need to know the distance of two of the sides because the opposite sides are also the same measurement. So I'm going to add those in just so that we know it is 14, 14, 2, and 2. What I like to do when I am calculating perimeter is I like to pick a corner and take a walk around the figure. So I will add up the length of each side. So I start here up at this corner and I'll add 14 plus 2 plus 14 plus 2. And I get the perimeter of the figure. Now you might have noticed, oh, there's two 14s and there's two 2s. So I could have a, a bit of a shortcut by just saying 14 times 2 and 2 times 2. And you're right, there is a shortcut for rectangles. But if you just walk around the figure adding up each side length um, for, for polygons and figures that have different side lengths, it just tends to help you to not miss any, all right? 
and you won't have to memorize any other equations, just add up the side lengths. So here is your turn. I want you to add up the side lengths of this blue pentagon. Go ahead and tell me what the perimeter is. Did you add them up like this? I hope not. I added them just in a random order. I went from the top to bottom. This side, this side, this side, this side. I didn't do my own advice of taking a walk around it, so I apologize for that. I went here, 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 here. Um, but you might have 3, 2.5, 2.5, 3, 1.8. That's fine. When you're adding them up, they should all get the same. You should get 12.8 centimeters as your final perimeter for this figure. All right, just start at one point, walk your way around. You can put them out of order like I did, but you have to be careful not to miss any. The more number of sides there are, the more chances that you might miss one. The last section of this lesson is talking about regular polygons. A regular polygon is a polygon where the side length, you can see that here, the side lengths are the same, and the internal angle measurements are the same as well. We're only really interested in the side lengths being the same at this point. Um, so if the side lengths are all the same, we also call this an equilateral polygon. Okay, all the side lengths are the same. If they're all the same, you can save yourself a little bit of time. You could add them all up, 3 plus 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 3 plus, 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 oh, I said too many, uh, I made a mistake. Um, it's sometimes challenging to add them all up. Um, so what you can do instead is that you could take the side length of 3 and multiply it times the number of sides that it has. All right, and that's a trick that you can only do on polygons that have the equal side measurements. Okay, equilateral. All of the sides are the same measurement. Then you can use this trick. Otherwise, you want to be adding up each side individually. But here is an equilateral regular hexagon for you. I'd like you to go ahead and add up the sides or use multiplication. Go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this hexagon. And we're back. Did you add? 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and get 12, or did you multiply 2 times 6 and get 12? Either way, you should have gotten 12. That's the perimeter of this figure. Or in other words, the distance around the outside. All right, and that is all we are talking about today. Boom, we are all done. We talked about circumference, we talked about perimeter, and then we talked about the perimeter of regular polygons. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.